very mountain, very blessed. This I give you the praise. Amen. Thank you. That's all right to praise him. Amen. All right to praise him. Amen. We're going to ask that you turn with me to Luke the 17th chapter. I will read the same scripture read earlier for a point of emphasis and if you pray with me, I will say this much, this could be an hour or even a two-part sermon, but I'm going to give you a taste of it today for about five to seven minutes. So you can come back on one Sunday morning when a few more people need to hear it, amen. And then we will preach it more, amen. Praise the Lord, huh? Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were leopards, who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet give them thanks. And he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten clans? But where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except the foreigner? And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Father God, I come in the precious name of Jesus Realizing my limitations, but none, there are no limits to what you can do. I ask that you get this human out of the way and send forth your word as you have it preached. And touch your people that they might receive it as you would have them to receive it. This I ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. This moment for the next five to seven minutes, we we'll want to speak on this subject. Are you healed? Or are you well, I like the way King James puts it, are you healed, are you made whole? Sometimes these translations take something away from the scripture. Now as I mentioned to you that you, this will make you think, as God reveals a new way, revelation related to this word. The first thing we discover is that all ten of them believed enough in the end product. What do you mean they believed in the end product? They believed that there was a man who had the power to heal them. Therefore, they were not reluctant to come to Jesus and ask to be healed. But the problem is, they believed in the end product without much thought to the producer of the product. Let me give you a, a, a quick illustration that may offend some of you, may make you think, but shouldn't offend anyone here today. Uh, the Missionary Society gave away a few hundred baskets. And in that group of people who came for the baskets, most of them only came for the baskets. They, 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 we will never see them again until there's another giveaway. The, the, the leopards, apparently most of them only came for the healing. So even though their bodies, their particular affliction of leprosy was healed, their lives were not changed. 
even though the people will be able to eat ourselves, what do they do with the groceries in the next few days? They might be to say that I'm full for the day, but they cannot say I'm whole. The, 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 that one leper, that ten percent, realized there was more to it than just the food. More to it than just the healing of my body. You see, your affliction can be healed, but you still won't be whole. You, you, your life won't be complete. You may say, I don't suffer from this anymore, but if you do not realize who the healer is, and that one after he discovered, now listen to him, he wasn't even a church man. He was a Samaritan. An outsider. Now I don't know how many church folks were in the ten, but he was a, a foreigner. And the foreigner had enough vision. You know, sometimes we're, we're so much into something that we can't see what's in the something we're in. We, 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 we take for granted, we, we become habitual worshipers instead of worshipers who feel and believe and know why they're worshiping. We come to church because we come to church. We don't come to church because God wants us to worship Him and celebrate Him. But I'm here to say that one out of ten percent, that one individual realized it was more to it than a basket of food. It was more to it than a hill of For whatever reason, I believe the Holy Spirit often wakes you up in the morning and says, You go to church. You go to St. Stephen's in order that you might hear the word. You may have been healed. God may have blessed you with a job, a car, a new home. But that's all you got. Something missing in that car. Oh, something missing in that home. But you want to be made whole. That's when you realize who the provider is, who the healer is, who the way maker is, and who is the one that changed your life. So as we stand across the church, if you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, if you have not come back to say, thank you, Jesus, I... I know what it's all about. It's more than the fact that I don't have a no anymore. It's more than the fact that I got a... It's, it's the salvation you give me. The wholeness you give me. Somebody today, we invite you to draw in there right now. As the choir gives us a selection. You can sing right where you are. You're good enough. Amen. Oh, yes. If you had new love. Oh, yes, it will. Uh -huh. Oh, come. Come on. Now we're going to open up to prayer. We'll remember those names and we'll listen to the ministers. We're going to remember those names that have been lifted. I believe
even saying thank you whenever I ask God. I, I thank God even before I get it. Because I know what He's done and how He can deliver. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You might want to call and name yourself right now. You might just want to praise God. He may have already blessed you, but you want to praise Him because it made you whole. You need to tell somebody this. I Father, we are coming before you on this Thanksgiving day. Father, this day set aside by our nation, Lord, to say thank you, Father God. But we who are of the household of faith, oh, Father, we know who truly we need to say thank you to. And, Father, it is to you for all of your grace and all of your mercy, for your compassion, your loving kindness. Oh, Father, for being a king.